WCW Prime. Hi, everyone. I'm Chris Cruz, along with the Christmas Dream, Dusty Rhodes. And what a program we've got as we crank it up for Starcade, the World Cup of Wrestling at stake, as well as, Dusty, in that triangle match, the WCW Heavyweight Championship as well. A big Starcade. As far as pay-per-views go, this is the biggest every year. They call it the granddaddy of all. Right here on Prime, go talk about Starcade. Talk about wrestling in general with WCW. Getting close to the end of the year. I'm so excited. I love Christmas time. I love the carols. I love Christmas bells. And I love presents, most of all. And bottom line, next week, we got a big Christmas show for him and appearance of Santa Claus. You remember the guy I played the pumpkin and everything, you know, on Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah, yeah we well, so great. Yeah, I let him go. We are going to have a Santa Claus to beat all Santa Claus. And I, I'm going to give you a whole week, a whole show. I'm going to give you a hint to guess who he is. First hit, 290 pounds of screaming steel and sexy steel. Let's go to the match. The following contest is set for one fall introducing first. Representing the Dungeon of Doom, the Laughing Man, Hugh Morris. Not only the Laughing Man, Dust, but the Mystery Man. He came here initially as the Man of Question, now named Hugh Morris. If you get the fun fans, and I know you do, humorous, he seems to laugh at the weirdest, most uh, unfunny things. It just doesn't seem to make any sense. And now we take you back to our ring announcer for the introduction of the opponent of this, the newest member of the Dungeon of Doom. His opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, jumping Joey Max. I see you've been watching Joey Max for a number of years. He has not been successful. Now, uh, Teddy Long is watching him. Do you think that's going to make the difference? Well, I, I know one thing. He has all the tools. But you can see right here, he started off in a bad way. You must you must find laughter, if you will, in dishing out pain. And he's gotten to Joey Max real quick. So we really didn't get to get off the block such a prime with Joey Max. But that's Teddy Long. Well, Teddy Long, no slouch, either as a referee or as a public relations executive or as a manager. He holds in his repertoire the title of former WCW Manager of the Year. But it's going to take everything he's got to make something of a 222-pound jump in Joey Max because this near 300-pound Hugh Morris. There he goes up top. Oh, boy, he can fly like he's 200. Oh, man. Had he landed, we would have had a near record fall time for Hugh Morris in his battle with Jumpin' Joey Mag. And who did his credit take it? But Hugh Morris. Oh man, that has become almost a trademark of Joey Mag to whip somebody into the third buckle and follow it up, not just with a clothesline, but with a drop kick. And now the whip look at Morris. Well, I'll tell you what, he caught him with a left forearm right there. A lot of power in that. Put him right underneath the chin there, dragging him over right now. Get him set up, look like he's going to go right up and do the old flip flop and loop in loop, baby. This is a beautiful move if he hits it any time. A man of that size doing that move is extraordinary. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the Nothing Man, Hugh Morris. And what a way to kick off WCW Pride this week, Dusty. Hugh Morris, one of the very dangerous members of the Dungeon of Doom. Of course, now we have one man gag. Who knows what or who they will come up with next. Well, I'll tell you what, they seem to be in the power seat right now. And Teddy Long, looking a little distraught, hoping for a miracle. All right, and we're back in just a couple of minutes right here on Prime. <laughs> 